you should see improvement in your physical ability. The stimulus has to be enough to improve you. The rest has to be enough to allow the improvement to happen. If you're doing the stimulus, but you're not getting the rest, you're not going to see the improvement. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Coach Bronson here. And today we are going to be talking about how to figure out if you're working out too much, if you're not getting enough recovery, particularly for those of us over 40 and 50 years old, trying to figure out how do we balance the need to do enough work to maintain and even grow muscle and physical performance, but also doing it in a way that's not a detriment to our progress or our health. So um, it's a great, it's a great topic. I get a lot of questions about it. Um, and many people are training more than they need to, because you can actually tolerate a lot more rest. So let's talk about that in a second. Before we talk about that, I want to make sure that you are reminded to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Most importantly, click the bell so you're notified every time I come out with a new video and share this video with somebody who is trying to improve their quality of life trying to figure out what are the things they need to do to get to the next level in a way that makes sense. Okay. We're not trying to do extreme things here. We're not trying to be sensationalists about the information and about what someone needs to do. We just want to give the information in a way that is realistic, makes sense, and people can use or not use based on where they are and what they're trying to do. All right. Um, okay. Recovery. One of the actual biggest challenges a lot of people that I work with a lot of people when they come into one of our programs is getting them to work out less. More people than not are overtraining and overworking, trying because we've been stuck in this mindset of um, eat less, do more is all that health is about, right? It's all about body. It's all about weight loss. It's all about calories in, calories out. It's all about what you put in, what you put out. If you put out more, then you're going to shrink. That is, and that's basically correct but we need to redefine shrink. Shrink means perform less efficiently. Shrink means not health. It means less function. Okay. So when we're talking about function, that's a different conversation. What we're talking about and what we should be talking about is how can I work out in such a way that I optimize my function? And when I say function, I'm talking about metabolic function. I'm talking about physical function. I'm talking about strength. I'm talking about having energy, not crashing throughout the day, having mental clarity and not being fatigued all the time. These are the things that we're talking about. What is your quality of life? How does your workout impact your quality of life? It should be a benefit to your quality of life, not a detriment. It should be a benefit to your progress, not a detriment. And this is where a lot of people get confused because they're not working out to improve the quality of life. They're working out to lose weight. That is where most of this conversation is, is going off the rails for people because the focus is wrong. When the focus is wrong, the actions don't match the actual goal. Okay. So if we're trying to improve our function, then we're looking at how do we balance the stimulus and the adaptation our body is making from our workout with the rest and recovery that it needs to improve its function based on that stimulus. So thinking about the two ideas of exercise progressive overload and supercompensation. When you overload your system, when you do more than your body is capable of doing or is used to, I'll say used to doing, if it's not capable, you wouldn't be able to do it. When you do more than your body is used to doing, right? Homeostasis, our body's used to, to work in here. If we consistently tell it it needs to work here, it has to adapt to that. That adaptation process doesn't happen while we're exercising, it happens when we're not exercising. This is the, the concept of supercompensation and why recovery is so important. When we rest, our body recovers from the effort that we did. And then there's actually a level of improvement. It now says, I can now do a little bit more because I've been stimulated beyond what I used to do on a normal basis. I'm responding. I'm adapting. That's where the adaptation comes. Stimulus, supercompensation then adaptation. Now I can do more. So how do we balance the stimulus with the rest? Because we need both. If you don't stimulate, then there's no adaptation. There's no reason for your body to adapt. If you don't stimulate, there's nothing to recover from. So we have to talk about, you have to work hard enough. 
You have to work hard enough in order for your body to say, I have to respond to this and do something different that I'm not used to doing. Number one. What we do there is how hard do you actually have to work in order to see a change balanced with what is the recovery? So this is where, um, if you guys are familiar with Dr. Israelty, I believe he's the one to introduce this concept a few years ago of maximum recovery volume. So when we're gauging our exercise, our, our lifting, our resistance training, whatever it is we're doing with our recovery, there's this concept of how much work can I do? to recover in a reasonable amount of time to do that work or more again. And let's say that in, in basic English, how much work can I do so that I'm not so sore that it takes me three weeks to work out again? That's basically what we're talking about, right? I need to be able to do enough work that my body goes, holy crap, but can still recover so that I can do another workout of that same muscle group, let's say within the next 48 to 72 hours right? Because ideally, in most cases, we're looking at trying to stimulate on a consistent basis, a muscle group or a movement pattern, at least every 48 to 72 hours at some level, right? If I'm super high intense on, on one workout, maybe it's not uh, 48 hours, maybe I wait another day. And that's part of this process. So understanding your own body, if you're working out every single day, and you're doing something so that the systems you're exercising never get a chance to rest, you will go the opposite direction. Your cortisol will be chronically high. You will be tearing down lean mass, not building it. You will have no energy. Your body will be consistently in fight or flight, and you will never see the goals that you're looking for because your metabolism never has a chance to settle down, relax, adapt, and recover. Okay. So maximum recovery volume is the key to understanding how many days a week you should be working out. That's the number one question I get. I'm working out two days a week. I'm not seeing goals. Well, maybe you need to do four days a week. Try it out. Test it. This is where tracking what you're doing, trending the data, and seeing what's working best or not. I'm working out seven days a week, and I'm not seeing progress. Maybe you only need three. We, we come into this, a lot of us come into this with this preconceived notion that there's a certain way we have to do it in order to see progress. And... Whatever that notion is in your head, I can almost guarantee you that it's wrong. If you have, you've been doing it for a while and you're not seeing progress. If you have this notion that you've been following and then you're not getting where you want to go, maybe that notion is wrong. Maybe you need to start looking at, I need more rest or I need more intensity or I need uh, an extra day. I'm never sore. Well, maybe not that we should be chasing sore. I don't want you to take the message that you should be chasing sore. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube. Go to bodyconfidentbook.com, sign up for updates. The book comes out in September. But there should be some physical response. You should, you should feel some impact to your body if you're working out hard enough. If you're working out and you never feel an impact to your body, it's very likely that you're not going as heavy or as hard as you could be. If you're always sore, like I used to be, and you're always broken down and you always have to take the day off because something uh, hurts or you have to modify I can't not work out, so I'm just going to do something else in instead of this because I can't do that because my knees are sore or I've got this uh, pain in my foot or my back this or my shoulder this or um, I'll just work through it. It's better. It feels better when I move it. Once I start working out, the pain goes away. How many, how many of you said that? There are things that we do because we're obsessed with doing more, thinking that more is better. More is not better. So when we're looking at maximum recovery volume, how much can I work out? trend the data, figure out what's going to work best for you. And then when I say trend the data, I don't mean a week, okay? Particularly with something like this, it's probably going to take you four weeks to figure out what a good volume, a good balance is going to be to start with. And that may change. Maybe you're doing three days a week now and you're feeling like I really could do more than do more. Do four days a week and see how you feel. Maybe you'd keep doing those three days a week, but you up the intensity of those workouts each on those three days 
do more weight, do more reps, do an extra set and feel how you are after that workout. And maybe you um, will see progress just doing that. It may be a good enough time in between those workouts. Maybe you up your intensity and you're like, I got to take an extra day. I don't feel like I can work out on my normal schedule. Okay. Maybe that's not where you want to be. Maybe you want to do those, the schedule that you're on. And instead of intensifying your, uh, your workouts, you add an extra day. So now you can just get a more volume in instead of more intensity. There's so many different ways to play with this guys. If you're not willing to experiment and figure out, um, how these concepts apply to you, then you're going to be stuck. The concepts are the intensity has to be enough to make a change. You need to feel the change. You need to see the change. The numbers that you're tracking in your exercise should be going up. I should be getting heavier. I should be getting faster. Okay. I should be able to move more weight. I should be getting better at the movements that I'm doing. You should see improvement in your physical ability. The stimulus has to be enough to improve you. The rest has to be enough to allow the improvement to happen. If you're doing the stimulus, but you're not getting the rest, you're not going to see the improvement. So you have to try one of the two, one of the two things. Okay. I'm doing the stimulus. I feel like I'm working hard enough, but I'm still not seeing progress. So I have two options. I can try, I can do more stimulus, harder and more intensity or add volume. Okay. I added volume. I added intensity. I actually feel like I'm going backwards. I'm not getting stronger. I'm getting more tired. I get hurt more often. Okay. Let's go back to the intensity that we were at before the volume we were at before go back to that volume. Do things get better? Things seem to get a little bit better. Okay, great. But I'm still not really seeing the progress. Okay. Now maybe it's, I need more rest. Maybe the days that you're doing are still too much. Maybe you drop it down. Maybe you're doing four days or five days a week. You go to three days a week. That allows you more rest in between your exercises. So you have better recovery. Oh, I feel better. I have more energy when I go do my workouts. I feel better in between my workouts. I'm sleeping better. I don't have all this stress in my head. All you're at a new baseline. You can say, Hey, maybe if I up my intensity now, I, because I'm getting enough rest, my body's recovering. I can do more intensity on three days instead of having to do five days where I wasn't getting anywhere. You guys see how you have to play around with the concepts. You got two sides of the coin. Are you working hard enough or doing enough work or too much? Are you getting enough rest or not play with those two sides of the coin? You will find what works best for you. There is no if anybody tells you everybody needs three days a week of exercise, tell them to walk away. If anybody tells you everybody needs five days a week, walk away. Walk away. Everybody's different. Everybody's got different goals. Everybody's got different lifestyle. You need to move your body as much as possible on a consistent basis, period. If you want to see improvements in your physical performance, you have to do things that are going to improve your physical performance. What that looks like for any one individual is 100% up to that individual. What is the concept behind how it works and how can you apply that to your life? All right. If you have any questions, guys, please, please, please put them in the comments. I love talking to you guys about this stuff. And if you have any ideas on other topics I can talk about, oh, I hope this one was helpful in helping you understand what the number of days, how much you should be working, what it should look like for you, how much rest you should be getting, because you should probably be getting more than you think you did. Take it easy. See you next time. Hey there. Did you know that I have a free community on Discord? If you go to discord.coachbronson.com, you can join my community. You can meet other people. You can engage in a group of individuals who are all searching for and having success in finding their context and the solutions that will work best for them. Hop yourself in there. Discord.coachbronson.com. See you soon.